Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. Today's video is one that you guys love. Straight up, you love this video. And so I'm gonna keep making it for you. Obviously, we got the TBR cart right here. We have the guest of honor, the TBR jar. So we're gonna be choosing TBR jar prompts to pick my TBR for the month of April. Last month, I ended up asking you guys for a few ideas for the TBR jar just because my jar was getting a little empty. And as you guys already know, whenever we use a prompt, we put it in this little bag so it's not reused. So every single prompt that I have used so far in these videos is still in here. I just added a ton of new ones to kind of spice things up a little bit and you guys had a lot of ideas so thank you for the feedback and if you ever have an idea for the prompt jar just comment it down below because I love I don't know just having different ideas and different ways to pick books it's always just such a fun way to do it and that's why I love filming these videos this month I'm not really sure how many books on the TBR we're gonna be having just because I am getting my wisdom teeth out on April 5th and I don't really know how the recovery process is gonna go we also have Luke's birthday, my mom's birthday, our three-year anniversary, we're going to a concert, I might be going to a book signing, there's just like a lot of stuff going on and obviously we're like in the midst of wedding planning and stuff like that too so I'm just like a little nervous where my TBR is concerned but at the same time TBRs are just fun, I don't have to read every single book on it and to be honest I've never read an entire TBR's worth. I am filming this still in March though who knows? It could be the first month that I ever do that. So we'll see. I'm hopeful. Also, because I am getting my wisdom teeth out, I feel like I'm going to want a few very nice, like, easy reads. So maybe some, like, YA. I've got a few of those on here. Or just some nice, like, rom com palette cleanser books because I feel like my brain isn't going to be, like, doing too hot, in all honesty. And I'm probably going to be in a lot of pain, too, so I'm not going to want to, like, think a ton. So I'm crossing my fingers for some of those on the TBR this month. Anyways, let's go ahead and pick out our first prompt for the month of April. <laughs> A book with magic. We've got quite a few on the TBR right now. I'm pretty sure Addie Lou has magic. Two Twisted Crowns, Caraval, Throne of Glass series, Crescent City series, and I think Dance of Thieves has magic. I guess we have a lot less than I thought, and I think that's just because, well, one, in March I went on a book buying ban, and two, I haven't really been buying a lot of fantasy books just because I'm really trying to focus on finishing the Massiverse. So if I'm gonna be reading a fantasy book, I'm gonna be reading one of those that, like, I already have by her. I think I know what I'm gonna pick because I feel like it's just, it's time and I know this is this is Bic and I know I was literally just talking about the fact that I want some easier less I don't know intense reads for the month of April but towards the end of April I'm not gonna really be in recovery anymore because I'm getting my wisdom teeth out in the beginning I don't know why I feel the need to justify everything when I say it's time I mean it is finally time for the tandem read I am terrified. This is going to be over a thousand pages and basically if you haven't heard of the tandem read, this is book six and seven. So we have Empire of Storms and then Tower of Dawn. These are a part of the Throne of Glass series and basically these are all set during the same like time frame. In the Throne of Glass series it is third person and it switches point of views quite frequently. So basically what she did is she put a few POVs in here and a few POVs in here because we have like different groups of people going on like different adventures I guess you could say. I mean obviously I don't really like totally know because I haven't read these yet. Like I've said, I'm nervous, but I'm also just very excited. I'm excited to end this series. I've been going very slowly through this series just because of the fact that I am so nervous for it to end. I already have a really bad emotional connection to these characters and I've just heard from everybody who has finished the series that they wish they could be in my shoes so they could read it and experience reading it for the first time. So I'm really just trying to like savor these books and I am really loving this series so far. Highly recommend. I know a lot of people say that the first few in the series are a little bit slower and they are compared to the later ones but that's just kind of like classic fantasy series things because you have to deal with world building and character building and just a lot of backstories especially because there are a lot of characters in these but it's not really like in a confusing way but if you've like read the first few books in the series haven't gotten into it or you're just scared to do it like I was highly recommend you should definitely read these okay so these are actually the first two books on our TBR for the month starting off with some big chonkers that sorry that didn't really sound right let's pick book three Next book in a series. Okay, I have quite a few on here, obviously, but I think I know which ones I'm kind of between because I was already talking about like easier reads. And whenever I think of easier reads, I think of YA, specifically YA Miss... Okay. Specifically YA Mystery. So we have two mystery series that I'm kind of in the middle of right now. We have the Natural series. So this is the second book in that series called Killer Instincts. And then we have the second book in a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, which is Good Girl, Bad Blood. I read the first one, I think it was February. And then the first one of these I read, I think in like 
October or maybe September of last year. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one because I just haven't been in this world for a while. And I've been wanting to get back into this series for a while as well. This series is basically young adult criminal minds and that's just the best way to explain it. That's the way everybody explains it. And I like flew through the first one. So I feel like this will be a good series to read kind of like Palm a little brain dead from the wisdom teeth like juju that they give you if you know what I'm saying. Book four. Instagram chooses. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and post a poll to my Instagram. I guess it's kind of nice because I get to pick like two books for you guys to pick between. Like I've been saying throughout this entire video, I do kind of want a romance, just like a classic, almost like rom com -y, nice, lighthearted romance. For one of those options, I'm gonna pick The Love Winger by Lynn Painter. I thought this would be like perfect for me this month just because her writing is so easy to flow through so rom com so fun just such a nice like palette cleansing read this is basically about two people who like meet each other through online dating and then they end up realizing they don't really like each other like that and then they make like a love wager together and kind of like be each other's like wingman slash wingwoman and the wager is whoever can find like true love first i guess and i just fly through lynn painter's book so this is going to be perfect for option two i'm kind of between people we meet on vacation and then flawless but i already know that i'm going to be reading an emily henry book this month and i don't know i feel like flawless is one that i've had on other tbrs that i've just really wanted to get to these are cowboy romances and these are by elsie silver i've heard nothing but amazing things about them and i feel like this summer is going to be the perfect time to read these interconnected standalones this one specifically is about rhett and summer and apparently these are like a little bit steamy but also just like very fun and people just like eat these up so i'm i'm really excited let me go ahead and post the poll which book? The Love Wager or Flawless? Okay, I just posted that to my story and we're gonna see the votes probably at like the end of this video after I'm done choosing probably like the next few prompts because that'll be book four. I know we're at least gonna choose five books. So let's go ahead and choose our fifth book. Interconnected Standalone. We've got the rest of the Knock em Out series. The Final Offer by Lauren Asher. That was actually, I think that was on my February TBR. I just never got to it. I honestly don't think I have any more on here. At least that I know of. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm finally gonna do it. We're gonna read Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Squire. I read the first one and I did those just move? I feel like they definitely did. Anyways, I read the first one, Things We Never Got Over, super famous book type book. Probably you guys have at least heard of it, if not already read it. And I don't know why I've just been putting off the rest of the series for so long. I think it's just because these books are just big. But honestly, like I flew through the first one just because Lucy Score has very like easy to read and effortless writing. And also I've heard so many mixed reviews about the rest of the series. A lot of people loved the first one, or at least most people that I heard talk about it did. And then the second one, it was just super like wishy-washy and then same with the third one so i've just been putting these off and they're small town qc romances this one is about nash who is the main guy in the first one's brother and then the other main character is lena and i don't really know much about her but these are very like steamy and then there's like a little bit of mystery and they're just like cute small town vibes and i feel like this will be a good contender for this month we currently have two fantasy one why mystery and then two romances i think i'm gonna pick one more and just see how it goes normally i pick around like five to seven depending on the month just because i like to have the freedom to mood read and because i read specific other books for videos so let's pick a sixth one and then kind of see where we're at facetime someone and have them choose okay i just have to pick who to facetime at least it's sunday that i'm filming this so nobody's really like at work because all my friends work like normal jobs i think i'm gonna call brooke let's see if she picks up oh hey hello Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm filming a video. So. Oh, oh my yeah. god, am I the friend that chooses your book? Is that what's happening? I think you are, because I got the prompt that oh says god, FaceTime oh someone and have them choose. So, do you want to okay. see the books? Okay. What are my options? And this is, here, this is what I have picked out so far. Two fantasy and, and two romance. That's, okay, give, me, give, give me to the mystery. We have these. And then these okay, down you here. You still need to write, read the final offer. You I feel like I you've do. Been, like, I'm just so nervous. That one, like the plague. I really have been. It was literally on my TV like a month ago, and I didn't read it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with 
my god, look at those chonkers on the bottom. <laughs> All three, three of them. You know, we're gonna go with uh, the next book in the Good Girls Guide to Murder series. I yeah. think that'll be enjoyable to you. Okay, Brooke and I ended up chatting for a hot minute afterwards, but I am back. As we saw, she picked the next book in a Good Girls Guide to Murder series, which is Good Girl, Bad Blood. I'm really excited to continue this series, and honestly, like, I'm gonna fly through these. I just know I am. And they're just gonna be perfect for this month. I'm very excited. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think the poll has been up for like 20 minutes now. So I guess that was like the break that I needed to take. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with what the poll says right now, which is the love wager 33% and flawless 67%. So it looks like I'm gonna be reading flawless this month, which I am very excited to start this series and finally get into the world of cowboy romances and also try out LC Silver's writing because I've heard nothing but amazing things. Two honorary books that are on the TBR but like aren't on the official TBR. Emily Henry's Funny Story. So excited for that. Abby Jimenez is Just for the Summer is also coming out. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that in April but I'm gonna buy it no matter what. And then Powerful the Powerless novella comes out on April 30th so not gonna be able to get to it but I am really excited for it and definitely gonna be reading it in May. Okay we got six books. Let's go ahead and go over the ones for the April TBR. The first prompt was A Book with Magic and I ended up picking two books which are the Tandem Breed books from the Throne of Glass series. We have book six, Empire Storms, and book seven, Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. Then we had next book in a series, and I chose Killer Instincts by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. After that, we got an interconnected standalone, and I am finally going to read Things We Hide From The Light, which is the second book in the Not Come Out series, which is by Lucy Score. Then we got FaceTime Someone and Have Them Choose a Book. We got Girl, Girl, Bad Blood, which is the second book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. And then I had you guys choose on Instagram which book you wanted me to read. We chose Between Flawless and The Love Wager, and you guys chose Flawless by Elsie Silver. Let's go ahead and put the prompts we used away so that we don't pick them again. And these are the six books on the TBR for the month of April. I am so incredibly excited for some April reading. I feel like we got a lot of variety on here, some great picks. I just feel like April's gonna be a great month. I'm really excited, even though I am literally terrified to get my wisdom teeth out. But besides that, April's gonna be great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also comment down below any ideas that you have for the TBR prompt jar. And also, if you watched until the end, comment the book stack emoji so I know who the real ones are. If you guys wanna keep up with more of my everyday life, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Goodreads, especially Goodreads if you wanna keep up with what I'm reading in real time. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video, and I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Bye, guys.